and we're back. Um, shut the camera off there. But uh, the wood filler will dry fairly quick. And then you sand it real nice. And I, I'll show you, you know, something to avoid when it comes to sanding um, your, your wood patches because if you don't do it right and you can see it, you're more likely to see it. But I'm going to put the camera down and I'll be back after we vacuumed everything up. We'll make it look good. So be right back. All right. We're back. Um, I wanted to bring up another quick point about when it's time. I've already scraped this last third off. You can see what the knife does. You know, you're going through that material. It's kind of waxy. Um, but I wanted to show you something when it comes to using this, okay? Um, you can see this line here, and you can see that line. These are kind of like transition. This is, this is a mark that shows you where you've been scrubbing, and you kind of stop right there with your pad. And it's that easy to leave that. Um, don't leave those. Uh, chances are it would sand out when you get the sander involved, but I don't like leaving those because I don't like surprises when it comes to this. So I'm gonna go back over this, and I'm not nearly done. I just started with this, but what? But something like that, that line, if you leave that, and if it doesn't come out in sanding, you'll stain it that way, and there's no natural lines like that hardly in nature. So you're gonna go over that a little bit. And you can see it's lightening up. And there's also dry issues, you see that. Now this will dry the more I sand on it and or scrub it with my steel wool. I keep saying sanding, but you kind of are when it comes to this. You know, I don't want a bunch of quick stop and go marks, you know, that kind of stuff. And once your pad gets looking like that, okay, it's time to either flip it over if you can or grab a new pad. I'll show you when I grab a new pad. I'm going to try to even this out before I gum up a perfectly good steel wool. I'm going to try to even this out as best I can. I'm just getting tired here. But I like this dark spot right here. See if I can't kind of even things out. You know, just, you know, again, most of this will come out in the sanding. But you don't want to leave any hard edges, you know, this mark that I was talking about here. Now it seems like I got kind of a clean spot where I've been scrubbing, so you got to even that out. And this pad's done. Okay, here we are, last step of the day. Everything's been, well, I'm going to take out that tape for you. Um, everything's been stripped. We're back down to raw wood. Everything's been vacuumed, and I'm getting ready to neutralize it now. I spoke earlier about this new stripper, and if I can find it, wait, here we go. clean up. Ah, oh, it does actually say soap and water. Um, I I remember. Uh, I don't. Maybe it wasn't this brand. This is Jasco, and this is what my paint supplier recommended worked. They tested all the the new stuff a couple of years ago. Um, they said this worked most like the last stuff, you know, the original stuff that uh, everybody's been using for, you know, decades. Uh, but it does say clean up um, right there, soap and water. So um, I was going to say, I, these cans have said mineral spirits. I'm glad they changed that because I never understood it and I never did it anyway. Um, you sometimes you know i neutralize anything that i've stripped some people say you don't have to uh some people use mineral spirits i use tsp and water all right so this is not only going to neutralize any residue that i might have stuck or it's in the grain stuff you know something like that um it also pulls out any old color and, and it kind of lightens everything up so this table's fairly dry although i, I suspect if i left it alone overnight just as it is uh, tomorrow morning it would be even a little bit lighter, but we're going to wash it um, using the green scrubby water and uh, TSP, so yay for progress, huh? Always the same thing, man. Forgive me. There we go. Alright, so... I'm going to... 
Got a little bit of water, you know, in here, about up to here, a little less than halfway. I don't need a lot. I'm gonna pour as much TSD in there as I feel like it. And this is basically detergent, it's soap, okay? So it's nothing caustic, you don't have to wear gloves. Um, but stir that up, mix it up a little bit. Now, uh, here's what's important before you get started on this make sure you got dry rags. Uh, Honestly, I should have a sponge, but I didn't bring one with me today because uh, you're putting water on, on dry wood. You know, you got a spot right there. If I was to leave that, that could end up being a water spot. And right here, that's a liability, okay? Don't get water spots. Uh, if this were a front door, I'd be starting at the bottom to the top instead of the top with my neutralizing and getting water that would splash on the dry bottom or uh, at the bottom of the door because that's could leave spots. So um, after you scrub this, wipe it down as dry as you can with uh, several rags or better yet, a sponge. Just, oh, let's get this tape off of here. I keep forgetting about my blue tape. Yay, everything looks pretty good. I don't see like a, a dark spot where I didn't get close enough. Um, some, you know, it can't be helped. I'm, I'm not gonna take the faucet out, you know. <laughs> It'll be a little silly, so. Get rid of the gloves. Like I said, this stuff is just basically detergent. It's not gonna hurt you. It might make your hands even softer, so. Scrub this, and I'm being careful so I don't flip my water way out over across the floor there, okay? I'm dropped out about a dry, you know, a runner's width, so I've got plenty of protection as long as I take it easy, okay? And take it easy on the edges. I just had a whole bunch of water that you can't see pouring over. I mean, it's hitting the plastic, it's going my drop, that's what we want, but try not to make a mess, basically, okay? areas. I'm trying to go about halfway to the table, you know, just if you get a, a little bit of drop of water on the dry side, if you know you're going to be right over there, okay, it'll sit for a second or two, but don't forget about it, because it, you know, you got to sand those out, any water spots, that's, I'm going to go over this, with some dry rags and soak up any main water and I'll show you just how orange my rags will look when I'm doing this. Already my water is, is murky brown. It was crystal clear now it's crystal brown. Right. I'm going over this and I'm kind of feeling under just a little bit under that ledge to make sure I don't, I don't have any material that might have got underneath bottom here. So when I'm wiping this down, I'm taking my finger going down just to make sure I don't have anything there that I shouldn't. I don't want any surprises when I go to stain this. And looking at it wet, you kind of get an idea of what it would look like after I stain it. Okay. So that's gonna look awesome. Well, color-wise you get an idea. Oh, I've scrubbed this half pretty well. Got a little bit left over here. Make sure you get into the little nooks and crannies, okay? Don't forget anything. It probably won't hurt. You know, you ain't got to go crazy, but make an effort. Alright, make the effort. corners will get you, that's where you'll fling water and all that scrubbing pad will just grab the edge of that and whoosh, and all of a sudden you got a mouse clean up. You don't hurt anything, but just being careful, you know, it would, would go a long way. Alright, so I'm pretty, pretty happy I've scrubbed this. I might go over it one more time. Just 
all the way up and down to kind of, you know, if there is any variations, it's, it's these long strokes. That's what she said. But it's these long strokes that will even everything out. All right, so let's do, do a little bit here, a little bit here, because those stop and go marks will leave stop and go marks. They don't, you can't cover up a stain. So you gotta kind of be careful. Problems. A little bit of a dry spot. Make sure you get it everything, you know, hit with your water and such because you don't. If you don't wash it all, believe me, that one spot will stand out. Now you can fix that the next day. A little bit of washing on the day that you sand, you know, you're fine, but you don't, certainly don't want to get into it. I'm going to show you what this water looks like real quick. There's my water. It's pretty murky. You know, it's pretty brown, pretty orange. I'm going to wipe that down 